I'm sure you're wondering how I achieved this beautiful full lock look that I took my trip to Mexico. Just sit back and watch. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's Tayo here and I'm showing you how I achieved that beautiful lock set. First, washed my hair, sectioned it and braided each individual part. I used these extensions that I got from Nigeria. And the first thing I did was to soak, dip it in what, hot water because I didn't like the wavy texture of the lock so i did that in hot water i'm just showing you guys please be careful if you're using hot water because you could burn yourself i dipped each one in hot water i had like six sets of the hair but i ended up using just three packs because i didn't want it too much and i was tired at some point after dipping the hair into hot water i just let it hang straight so that it would dry straight because i wanted it straight and then i took some expression hair that matched the lighter parts of the locks and i curled that using my flexi rods and hot water please like i said please be very careful when using hot water to um curl or straighten your air extensions because hot water can be dangerous when not handled properly put some conditioner into a bowl and hot water and i'm just going to show you how i dipped the rolled hair into the hot water to just give me like curled tips yeah and please like i said be careful because hot water is really hot and i don't want anybody to get burnt from doing the stuff i do in my videos so viewers discretion is advised so i did that honestly i curled up so many um strands of hair because i didn't even use half of what i curled up but i did that and then i set it out to um dry a bit once it was dipped in the hot water for a bit after i set it out to dry to let the curl set i then separated each one from the flexi rod and then also se separated each strand because they were quite thick and it looked natural like the curly tips came straight from the lock so after doing that i set the se separated strands on like a towel to dry so this is what the locks looked without the curly tips and what they looked with the curly tips now this is the first time i'm doing full locks on myself or on someone else's head so i had to use the back of my head to practice first before showing you guys how exactly i did it so i'm going to be using the locks and then the curly hair that i had in the beginning of the video now i would advise everybody to use kinky bulk or kinky spring twist hair because the curly hair i used to wrap the hair was too slippery and my locks were unraveling later on so the first thing you do is to put your hair into the hole of the lock and then using your crochet pin you loop your hair into the root of your hair so it's like a loop it's like you've used your hair to loop the lock after that you take your curly strand and then you wrap your hair you know how you wrap your hair when you're doing like thread or wool or something you just wrap it that's literally what i did and if you use good spring kinky hair once you wrap it you don't need to tie it at all because the hair tends to like stick to each other and would just be smooth make sure you use the same color as the lock because as you can see i'm using black because the roots of my lock was black to be honest i think the prepping of the hair like the putting dipping the hair in hot water making curly tips took longer than the actual crocheting and wrapping of the locks now like i said you put the you loop the locks into your hair and then you wrap it with curly hair and that's literally just what i'm doing and you need to make sure you're taking your time as you're wrapping to make sure it's covering your natural hair and the lock and because again remember my hair is the tips of my hair, my hair is colored so i didn't want any tip to show while i was wrapping so i really took my time wrapping especially the front wrapping it properly i'm going to show you this thing just once more because as you can see there's just one more strand left but this is me just trying to tie off the ends because i use this slippery curly water wave hair instead of kinky curly so i will do this hair again because remember i have three packs left because i use only three packs the three packs i added the curly tips to so i'm going to do this hairstyle again and i'll make sure i use kinky bulk and i'll record that again for you guys so that you guys can see the difference when i use kinky bulk and rather than water wave so i'm going to show you guys again so it's very simple you take your strand of hair your own hair pull it through the hole in the lock all locks come with holes especially the ones that are supposed to be crocheted then you take your crochet pin under your hair pull in the tip of your hair and then you take your curly strand kinky curly strand to be precise and wrap 
your hair wrap it like you're doing thread you're doing wool you're just wrapping like a bandage around the strand of hair and you just keep wrapping make sure you are touching it that it is smooth you're wrapping it properly and don't make it too tight i made the mistake of making it too tight and i had headache because you're literally just wrapping around your hair at the beginning because your hair is at the roots so you wrap it and you wrap it till you've covered your hair depending on how long your hair is my hair is quite short so i didn't have to wrap for too long if your hair is longer you probably have to wrap for a lot longer towards the end of your actual hair length literally that is just what it takes and it was very simple very quick didn't take me too long to complete this the only thing that took time was the preparation of the hair depending on hot water and also patting my hair if you can get a friend to help you patch your hair, if you're not really good at that you can also do that but i wasn't too bothered about the part i only just wanted my center part and my side part and i didn't care about the other parts in the hair so once i was done wrapping the hair i rolled it within my palms so that it would like match the texture of the look and literally that was it that's the entire look just turn around to give you guys the view of the back the back parts are quite big because again i was doing it myself and i didn't want it to be too full literally that's it i'm just going to show you guys a clip of me enjoying my hair in mexico thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye you're so beautiful shake it shake it